What is up everybody? Today is gonna be an awesome day. I really, 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 really can't wait to get my right hand drive Civic running. Um, it's It's been sitting for all these years and I've kind of like not forgotten about it. It's always been in the back of my head and I just kind of, I don't wanna say I haven't cared, but I haven't cared and now I went, you know, every time I go over to that garage and I see it, I go, oh, I should get this thing going again. I should get this thing going again. And Matt procrastinated me enough to say, all right, let's go get it. So I'm just excited. The car's at the shop. I think it just needs a fuel pump. Uh, we'll see what happens, but it's gonna be a good one. I can't wait to get this thing running and driving again. Check it out. Took a minute, takes a minute. Anna, Anna could see that you're stiff, that's hilarious. Oh, that's what I said. Why you so stiff? Like, you don't look like that normally. Like, I haven't ridden in three weeks. All right. I figured out two things there was the gas had pretty much all evaporated in here so that gas that's in there is gas that I put in yesterday and then over from over there you can kind of see where the sending unit is which is like your the little float for your gas gauge and that was all the way down and it was like under the gas so I took the pick here and I reached in there and and pulled it up I don't know if you can see it or not but I reached in and lifted this and now it moves freely like before it was stuck down and now it you know you can see it moves so now i think my gas gauge is going to work again which is cool and the pump we tested it and the pump was totally frozen up luckily taylor had a, a miata pump in his box which uh literally is the exact same pump i mean the plug is a tiny bit different but literally the honda plug plugs right in to the to the Mazda so I figure the um, the Mazda is a one point the, the Miata is a 1.6 liter and this car is a 1.6 liter so my guess is it's gonna have a, around the same size fuel pump in it either way this should work I'm excited I'm gonna pop this thing in and the car is gonna run That's not going anywhere. Now I get to stick this guy on there. Proper tools, trusty adjustable. So I cleaned the I cleaned the grease off these just to make sure that they look good. And like I said, these have the factory grease on them still, so it's always important to use some dielectric grease, especially I don't know in areas that are on the outside of the car, which this technically is on the top of the gas tank so it's it is outside the car right. 
it is always important to wear your safety glasses and I just was taking the little whatever banjo bowl out and psh, it shot and went right in my eye. Oh, I even have awesome safety glasses too. Get my waves out. Now that it's already been in my eye, it's not gonna do it again. It won't squirt again, but I'm gonna be safety glassed up. Positive note is since it squirted me in the eyes, I know we have fuel pressure or it's pumping from the pump and there's no leaks back here. So I can button all the back up or button all this stuff in the back here up and that's done. Uh, I really think it's the fuel filter that's just clogged up. So I'm gonna pop a new fuel filter in this thing and go from there. I think that's, that's probably the issue. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Here we go. New fuel filter. Roomba. That's just some of the uh, <laughs> transmission fluid. Just some of the. Uh, huh. Taylor just smacked on the injectors. And then one worked and then they all worked. So Taylor fixed it. Russian cosmonaut trip, you know. Over easy. Huh. <laughs> Jesus, they're really they're loading this thing up. Is that an exacto? Were you making balsa wood houses in your off time? Uh it's bonza tree trimming actually. Ah, that's right. Bonza. <laughs> <laughs> wood warm. He was a man of patience. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Somebody spent some time in the fucking dark room. Oh my god, what a shot that is. Quick little oil change. If anybody knows what this is, put it in the comments. It's uh, I don't even know. It's like a some kind of sensor in the cat, but I don't know. I have like honestly never seen it before. I have no idea what it is. Just adding some coolants and uh, letting it get to temperature. See if the thermostat. So I probably should have changed the thermostat, but I didn't. So chance it's stuck. But we'll see what happens once it gets to temperature. Top hose is hot, bottom hose is not. It's just burning off all the, what do you call it? Transmission fluid that I put in the cylinders. <laughs> oh, it's like two vehicles in one week I did that to. It's funny, the tack wasn't working and then I revved it up and then all of a sudden it started working. It's got kind of like a little I guess it works. It's fixed. So you got a spoon shift knob. I bought this at Spoon. The, uh, the little, what do you call it? The little shift pattern is that there it fell off. It's been in there for a long time. Um, I know I'm doing the coolant right now, but I don't want to turn the um, blower motor on because I feel like there is, might be a bunch of crap in there. I didn't take down just from stuff living in the living in here. So we'll see. All right, guys, that does it for today. I'm stoked that I got my Civic running. I got like I shouldn't say I can't believe it because I knew I'd get it running, but um, the fact that it's been sitting for so long. And then when we went to get it, it had no compression. I was a little worried, but the fact that we put some ATF in the cylinders and that's like, you know, reseated the rings and the thing runs. So I'm excited. Um, a couple small things that need to be addressed. The um, 
blower motor doesn't work, the electric fan doesn't turn on, I think the thermostat's sticking. So just stupid small stuff. I gotta get the uh, wheels I have for it powder coated. I have SSR type X's for it and they're black and reds. I never really liked them even when I had them back in the day. So I'm gonna do them in white and I gotta get some tires. And this thing, it's gonna be back on the road. So um, hope you like the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.